Log of the Electra, Matt Mercury commanding. The Electra has stopped off at the Planet Mall of Wilson's 434 in a valiant effort to get Sparks' powerful and crippling shopping fix satiated. Oh my! Harmonic power! What are you peddling today, pedestrian? I am bulky. And this is a quantum molecular cohesion disintegrator. Hmm. Does it come in purple? No, it does not come in purple. Va spoke smokes one, qui? I'm Terran. I speak, Terran. Ah, looking for something special. Space Ace you are. Nope, just looking. Ah, a C-A-R guy you are. What's a C-A-R? It stood for carriage with automated rollers. That doesn't sound right. This one is electric from the 21st century. It's Terran. You can start it with your phone. My what? This thing looks like it's been through the Cashton meteor belt. Besides, the previous owner still seems pretty attached to it. This is just an empty space suit. General Axelrod's Genius Syrup. If you won't feel stupid buying this. Mm -mm. Peanut butter milk. Honey coated psycho. Blast off. See to what fun. you're missing in an off world colony. Hey there, handsome. Have you had your rocket bar today? I see that beloved galactic huckster, Mr. Lobo, has cornered the promotions market, even this far out. He is invasive. This is the real Mr. Lobo. Hey, if you tried the Swami's See Your Future pills today, if you don't, you'll never see tomorrow. That sounds like a threat. I find that some of the most persuasive sales motivations come in the form of a threat. What are you doing out here? Well, I must admit, I don't normally do in-person promotions, but the Swami has a way of convincing people to go against their best interests. Normally I get space sickness something terrible, so I don't like to travel. The Swami had me frozen in carbonite and shipped here. <laughs> or was it Samsonite? This is far more than I care to know. Can we move on, please? You look like a well-traveled space ace. You're the second person to call me that today, but the name's Matt Mercury, captain of the ESS Electra. Captain. Nice. Listen, my leg is still numb from that carbonite. Could I impose on your heroic generosity, Captain Mercury? I need a lift to my next destination, Bologna 12. I'm emceeing a variety show there, mainly for tips. Well, I, I don't see why not. Take some of those idiotic see your future pills and maybe you will. Mr. Lobo, my understanding you were to be our only passenger. Myself and my troop of players. May I introduce you to the enigmatic Romana? Beep, beep, like, like Kapow. The unquestionable John Stanley, and the lovely but deadly Cosmonauti Prime. Hello, Mr. Ape Man. <laughs> Why is this thing glowing and emitting high levels of gamma radiation? Puppets. Uh, we have a puppet show, and, and that's our puppets. Well, whatever. I'm going to have to lock down the hangar bay and set up a dampening field. You'll have to keep your puppets locked up for the duration of the trip. No ape is going to tell me what to do with my... Uh... <clears throat> now, John, if Nemo wants the puppets to sit tight, then sit tight they will. Cadet Kai, I haven't seen you in a while. Engineer Volcro has had me working in one of those itchy blast suits. Why don't you get out of engineering for a while and take a spin on the bridge? 
Tell that to Engineer Volcro. I think he'll be fine with your reassignment. I'm kind of his boss. You're not just doing this because I have enhanced abilities. Are you? Sure I am. I select all of my officers based on their abilities. Don't worry, cadet. You'll fit in just fine. I can't believe you let that ape lock up our, our, our puppets. John, John, when have I failed you? Not counting today. Mind reels. You stole this mummy's mind reels. Waka, waka, waka. Once I feed them to the ship's computers, the Electra will be under our control. And there will be nothing Captain Mercury or Professor Brainwave or that stinky talking ape can do about it. <laughs> you could save the Earth. You could save the Earth. As you may now surmise, all hope is lost. Please fasten your seatbelts and refrain from moving about the planet. This may be a very bumpy ride. The Earth is gone, along with all the rules you're so attached to. You're in uncharted territory now, whether you like it or not. Matt Mercury! I wanted to take this opportunity to welcome our guest, Mr. Lobo. I hope you and your troop find this meal to your liking. Cheers. Tell me, Captain Mercury, what is the total field strength of this ship's weapons at maximum output? I think what John means is, how did you roast these chicken kebabs without scorching the tips? Well now, Mr. Lobo, as you might imagine, both answers are classified. Tell me, Mr. Lobo, exactly what type of variety show are you hosting on Bologna 12? As I recall, Bologna 12 is a lithium cracking station. It's almost fully robotic, except for the station's manager and three employees. The show is not for humans at the station. The planet's moons are inhabited by a race of biomorphic life forms who as it turns out, love variety shows. Are you good with puppets, Ms. Cosmonauti? You have no idea. Whoa, Nelly! I grow tired of this idle conversation, Captain Mercury. May I please be excused? Yes, yes, Captain. We are all weary and must rest for our upcoming performance. If you will excuse us. Certainly. Have Volcro check out that crate in the hangar bay. He's pretty much immune to gamma radiation, I think. One way to find out. These aren't puppets. Are we going faster? The engines have increased harmonic flow by 20%. Well, stop that. I can't, Captain. The ship is not responding. And we've altered course. 
Captain Mercury to the sick bay. Sit behind. Not now, Dr. Cipher. We have a situation on our hands up here. You have a situation down here too. We found Engineer Volcro. He's been attacked. On my way. What happened, Doctor? It appears he was struck from behind by a lead pipe. Volcro, did you see who hit you? I saw what was in the crate. What was it? Not what. Who, Captain? It's a Quinonan. A Quinonan? What's that? Until now, they were just leaden. A totally metamorphic life form. Born to become anyone or anything the beholder wants. Trafficking in Quinonans is a universally banned and highly illegal. They have it chained up, Captain. Not on my ship. Matt, you can't. Quinonans overwhelm the mind of whoever they come in contact with. You will become enslaved to this creature forever. Volker didn't. He would have if he had looked at it one second longer. What have you done to my ship, Lobo? I'm in command now, Matt Mercury. You're in the brig, and that's where you'll stay until I can take you and your gang to the Justice at Control Base 11. You have to understand, Matt. I didn't want to do this. The Swami put you up to this? No, you wouldn't believe me, even if I told you. Captain, you wanted a report. Give it to me, Mr. Nemo. The ship is completely under automated control, and we are headed right into the heart of the Zaxxis Empire. The Zaxxis are the most ruthless warrior race we've yet encountered. That's why John wanted to know about your weapons, Captain Mercury. You're going to have to use them if you plan on surviving this trip. Oh, you've got no choice in the matter. None at all. <laughs> You know, I don't just roll out of bed an evil super genius. I mean, really. I start my day off with the breakfast that all super geniuses start off with. That's right, blast off cereal. Fortified with real sugar and rich milk chocolate. And with every box, you'll get a special Rocket Patrol spaceship model. So kids, launch your breakfast with sugar charged blast off. Just like the heroes from Rocket Patrol do. Blast off cereal! It's go 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 delicious! <laughs> Status, Professor. We have erected a force field, Captain, but the Quinonan is exerting extreme pressure against the door. I can't guarantee how long we can hold it in the Hager Bay. Do the best you can. Mercury out. <laughs> Captain, we have regained control of the ship. Good job, Mr. Nemo. It wasn't me. The mind reels have disengaged. The Razak's on battle cruisers approaching, Captain. Open a channel to the lead cruiser. Channel open. It may be too late. Go to battle stations. We're losing force fields. We are in front of Imperium. Ready yourself for destruction. This is Captain Matt Mercury of the Earth spaceship Electra. We traveled into your space against our will. We mean no- Captain, we grow impatient.
This is Mr. Lobo calling Zaxxon Spacecraft. Please come in. Who is this? Well, like I said, this is Mr. Lobo. I have your Emperor's prize. If you destroy this ship, they'll never get it. And I won't get paid. So see, we'll both be very unhappy. Harmonic Drive is offline. They've stopped. Get the drive back online. Working on it. Security, bring Mr. Lobo to the bridge. We understand you are carrying a cone element on your vessel. Release it, or you will be destroyed. Nemo, are the weapons charged? Fully charged, Captain. If you fire on that ship, the Zaxxon Emperor will never see his wife again. What are you talking about, Lobo? The Zaxxon Emperor lost his wife three weeks ago. He has been heartbroken ever since. Captain, we grow impatient. The Quinonan can become his wife and heal his heart. Lobo, I will not abide by the trafficking of a life form. Bridge, we're losing the force field. Captain, the Quinonan has offered herself freely. Healing broken hearts is what she does. Then why was she chained? To protect you and your crew. Captain, she wants to go. Let her. Nemo, open the hangar bay doors. How can I help you, Mercury? Admiral Finn, we've just transferred the Quinone into the Zaxxon Emperor. Oh? I must assume you were aware. Our relationship with the Zaxxon Empire must improve, Mercury. Peace in this quadrant depends on it. As you may have guessed, the Quinone used some of the stolen mind reels to access recordings of the Zaxxon First Lady. I don't like it, Admiral. Be that as it may, your mission was a success. Consider it top secret and your orders sealed. Admiral Finn, out. Come. I wanted to let you know that my troop is ready to depart as soon as we get to the Johnson Colony. I'm sure we'll both be happy to be rid of each other. Oh, Matt. Don't be like that. We did a good thing. Captain, we are receiving transmission from the Zaxxon Imperial Palace. Pipe at the room. Captain Mercury, I wanted to thank you for returning my beloved to me. We're both happy. We wish you and your crew happiness as well. He will always love a facade. He will never really know his wife. And she will just play the part. Matt, I take it you've never been married. <laughs>